Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Norida Yamja Abdul Khalid. Today I would like to start the presentation. The first one is definition of terms of elderly. Elderly can be defined in a various term. The World Health Organization mentioned the elder population of 65 years old and above. If they are exceed by 7% of the total population, their country is considered as an aging population. The age of 60 and above has been widely accepted as the start of elder year according to Junaidi et al. The next one is aging population. The rising of longevity has contributed to the aging population in Malaysia. According to Department of Statistics in Malaysia, by 2030, the population of Malaysian aged 65 and above has expected to increase about 75%. Moving on is the elderly characteristic. People aged 50 years old and above is classified as the most inactive and also unhealthy person. They are also being described as a weak, poor, unfit, unhealthy, incapable, and also dependent towards people. As individual gets older, the housing expectations are associated with the healthcare concern. Next is the elder-friendly housing. In comparison to the other country, Malaysia are still lagging behind in terms of providing housing features for elderly. McLaughlin and Mill 2008 mentioned that the elder-friendly housing shall be built in elderly in place criteria. According to Chen 2017, detailed consideration for senior housing include the privacy, social interaction, clear direction, logo system, security, and also comfort. World Health Organization 2017 has also outlined few framework for age-friendly housing, which consists of affordability, community connection, access to services, safety and security, essential services, design, modification, and also maintenance. Next one is indoor attributes for age-friendly design. Luciano et al. 2020 mentioned in assessing the age-friendly home design, four elements need to be considered which is size, type, architecture or design and also its functionality. Extra facilities in the interior of housing is needed in the kitchen and also bathroom as mentioned by Chen 2017 and Wang and Sun 2014. Moreover, accessibility is also the main factor to be considered in the age-friendly housing according to Bamzar 2019. A house with insufficient space for travelling, moving and exercise are considered as dangerous for seniors, according to Luciana et al. 2020. Besides, Malik and Mikozola 2019 also mentioned that among the essential services for age-friendly housing include the conditioning system, lighting system and heating system in the house. Next one is outdoor attributes for age-friendly design. Muhammad and Abbas 2012 mentioned that many elder people live independently and they need access to oxygen, exercise, dog walks and also social interaction. Bankston 2018 explained the principle of outdoor environment which consists of privacy, formal assistance, fitness, physical movement, access to outdoor and also enjoyable diversion. Outdoor spaces must follow the basic standard of older people needs such as accessibility, sufficient size to fit the furniture, coverage from the ambient condition and the level of privacy. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Saras Minersaidi and I'll be continuing with the elderly friendly housing design features. So for the first feature is house design. Previous literature stated that the preferred elderly friendly housing design features among the Malaysian generations are bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, living room, floor, and staircases. First, for the bathroom. A bathroom must be designed for easy and helps access for an elderly to be independent while going to the bathroom alone. The bathroom must have a high slip resistant floor furniture and grab rest installed along the walls to prevent the elderly from falling. Meanwhile, for the bedroom, it is best for the bedroom to be located at the ground floor of the property. The bedroom must promote ease of movement and free from any obstacles that may trip the elderly in the future. The choice of a kitchen design can enhance the social interaction between the households by using an open kitchen concept since there is no doorway to separate an area. The cabinet design must also have easy access for the elderly. 
For the living room, it is best to feature an open and clear space which would enable the occupants to move freely around the room. The living space area should also orient towards the primary outlook and away from any sources of neighboring noises. The floor design must be even with slip resistant materials to prevent an elderly from falling or tripping. The types of flooring should also be gentle to step on. A shiny and reflective floor must be avoided since it will give an impression of a wet and slippery floor. Stairs are recommended to have an appealing design with visible and accessible location to encourage its usage towards the elderly. The staircases must have high visual contrast at the edges of landing and steps to be used as a highlight for hazards. Last but not least, continuous handrail should be provided at both sides of the staircases. The next feature is housing concept. The residential attributes for an elderly are commonly connected to their safety and social cohesion. An elderly will feel safe and secure by living in an area with good security, provides indoor parking, or generally a smaller building to live in. A study has shown that almost half of the respondents prefer to live in an existing property that is converted according to their aging needs and only a few of them prefer to purchase a new property from the developer. Some of the respondents also prefer terrace houses or single-family house adapted for elderly and the least preferred housing preference for the elderly is a housing for the elderly but without any additional services. The third feature is spiritual needs. Aging is a process involving spiritual, social, physical, psychological, and cultural changes. Aging can be tough for some individuals since they are not comfortable with constant change involving around them. Nevertheless, there are promising ways to help elderly to cope with changes by strengthening their mental health and spiritual needs. A house should emphasize spiritual and religious activities among the households since it was proven that both housing and environment could influence one's active lifestyle, especially for the elderly. Moving on to the sustainable design, it is being divided into environmental, social, and economic. Korean 2016 has stated that the reduction of consumption under non-renewable energy will further enable the continuity of reducing the operation costs simultaneously for the elderly-friendly housing. As for social, Arnold Berlin, an American philosopher, stated that the eco-psychology concept depicts the nature of healing qualities into the design, where the material used will affect the environmental aesthetic of the building. And the final pillar, which is economic, it took the biophila hypothesis which focuses on the affiliations towards nature and living things. We also elaborate on the attention restoration theory ART. Physical environment design, it is being divided into new development and existing building which has been stated by the scholar Lai 2016 and Joanne 2020 state that the elderly is more inclined towards the idea of having better physical environment design as it offers more hospitality in terms of health or well-being physically and mentally. Basically, we focused on the layout orientations, the adequacy of facilities, the accessibility, the ingress and egress, safe mobility, the building functionality and noise control. Finally, the social factor design will be divided into three which are living arrangement, social participation, and social support. Asante and Castillo 2018 has started that the bond made between the people in the neighborhood creates well-established community which revolves around the human-centered design. Life stresses on the living arrangement which can be divided into independent and shared option. In accordance to the research, independent option normally are based off the elderly living income while shared option dependent on the gender of the elderly then social participation are equally important to keep the community under control. And lastly, Shima 2020 stresses on the differences of perceiving social support than receiving social support, where they followed one concept, which is called the Perceived Social Support PSS, and from this, great impact has been shown towards the well-being of the elderly, where it is dependent on the existence of networking and cultural aspects.